Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Bean and welcome to my channel and today we're going to be taking a look at the double Lilia team, Christmas Lilia with the OG Awaken Lilia red one with Keo to provide Ignite so we can trigger double Holy Relic passives or just Holy Relics for Lilia which is basically, I can show you here, you increase her basic stats by 10% for every debuff on the enemy, uh, limit 5 times so 50% increase the basic stats so that's pretty huge right there. On top of that, parallel up with Zeldris passive, Festival Zeldris, increasing basic stats by 24% if you have debuffs on enemy. So limit 8 times, 3% for each debuff, so that's 24%. So that's 74% increase off the bat, straight up turn 1 on both Christmas Lilia and also Awakening Lilia. But the thing is, Awakening Lilia, she's okay. Christmas Lilia actually is pretty good. But for her, I mean, her first card is just a uh, single target card and also heals HP depending on the rank and also their AoE for allies or just single target for one ally to heal. Their second card is uh, AoE and a rank 2 and 3 depletes gauges, ultimate move orbs on the enemy. And their ultimate is the same as other Lilia. Uh, Leviathan removes boss from all enemies and inflicts damage equal to 525% of attack on all enemies at 6 out of 6. Their pass is kinda alright I guess, it's just corrosion, not really much to it. It does have like an attack weakening at 5 orbs if they have them, the enemy that is, but that's not really relevant anymore. Lilia though, she's OP. I already covered her on the video. Absolutely broken. Uh, her passive there, it is suffering catastrophe. So uses a single target attack skill. It deals additional damage equal to 10% of the hero's max HP. Using an all attack skill, all target attack skill, it deals additional damage equal to 7% of max HP. So yeah, it's basically the team. Double mommy team, double Lilia team, whatever you call it. Hopefully it goes well. Before we get started though, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We're on the road to... 4k subs and if you enjoyed today's video consider leaving a like it really does help out and i would really appreciate it also by the way merry christmas if you celebrate merry or if you celebrate christmas uh, i know some of you probably don't but if you do then there you go and uh yeah i'll start searching and i'll be back once i have the first real player let's see how this goes honestly i'm not sure how this is gonna go i mean on paper as i said at the beginning 74 percent increase to basic stats is really good it's just that red lilia Although she's hot, she isn't really like meta DPS or anything. Ooh, hold on. But this is a player, and this CC wants me to believe that is that they're using evade food. But take a look here. If it's almost 16k attack, almost 196k HP, and uh, there's my little right here, this one. Um, but here what I'll do is actually. I'll do this with Kiel, make sure if you're using evade food, and then I guess I'll go for Liz. Oh no, evade food, okay. So we'll apply the dissolve. Do we have enough damage here? Yeah. Oh, she hits so hard. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, okay. if I can break, oh, that's fantastic. I can take out a unit. Even if he, I don't know, he might put up a shield though. Okay, shield. The corrosion is gonna come. Oh wait, no, he's gonna cleanse it off. He's gonna cleanse it off. I think, man. The corrosion would have made it so the shield would have gotten a bit weak, uh, weaker. But yeah, he cleanse it off. Unless I reapply corrosion, I don't think so, right? No, it's the turn after. So what I'll do here then is I'll try and go for Liz because I don't want her to be that annoying. I don't know if this breaks. Probably not. No. I think this will, though. Okay. And then I'll just use the level 1. No reason to use a level 2 because of damage reduction. Yep, 36,000. I have ults with uh, Christmas Lilia. Hmm. Let's see. It's probably just going to drain me, though. Yeah. And then attack or cleanse? Cleanse. Am I in trouble? Can I get a drain card with the OG Lilia? Red? No, no. Fortunately, I don't. Honestly? I think I have enough damage to take out the Margaret. Yeah, she's dead. <laughs> Look at that damage, dude. Oh my god. Like, no Zeldra's passive. No, no. I mean, no Festival go their passive. Increase attack rate stats. And then, uh, ooh. It looks so good. 52,000 level 2, but also no green go their passive. It's just straight up raw damage. 
Okay. They have the Ignites on them. Can't cleanse them off, so that's a bit of damage reduction. Uh, he does have a Margaret buff up still, I think. Which is kind of annoying. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's going to drain my... Is he not going to drain? Please tell me he didn't. Or maybe stun. Stun, okay. That's fine. The good thing about this is that this card is actually going to come in handy because she does heal. At rank 2, it's an AoE heal. So it restores HP of all allies by 30% of damage is out. And then... I'm going to do this on Armiel so he takes a bit more damage than you, like normal. So we'll take the regular... Oh, she looks so good. But yeah, look at my HP. I was like pretty low on everyone. But look at it now. I'm basically back to full HP, so that's actually decent. Um, <laughs> we actually made a play. <laughs> Yo, Merry Christmas, you filthy animal! I don't know if you—that's from a—it's from an OG movie, but I know it from Home Alone. Uh, but yeah, that was actually a pretty good game. I'll be back though with match two. Hmm. Okay. Are you real? I don't know. Ooh. Okay. Go there, Keo, Merlin. I think. They are real. I hope so. Evade food? Oh, I never met. So yeah, it's a it's a player, not a bot. Wait, unless we do we, that's a level two, that's a level two, please. Lilia. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Love a superior mommy right there. Christmas Lily is OP. She really is. I didn't merge anything. It's minus the Kyo cards. Just one. So if he jack lights me, I can just use the rank ones. <laughs> yeah, let's go, dude. Let me see that windscreen. She looks so good. She really does. But look at that. That's why I actually, yeah. That's why I'm like worried about... Not worry, but I'm like a bit more cautious when people have like 160k around there because either they have low CC or they're using evade food. So mostly, most of the time it's evade food. So I was right on that one, but still a W. Pretty good win. Made him leave. Took out his Merlin, so he wasn't able to be toxic and not let me play the game. So that's really good. But I will be back. About time. Been a while. What do we got? Ooh, do we go second? We don't. Does he merge? He does. I'm going to go for his Escanor. Should I? Yeah. Use the main thread here. Let's do this. I know he's not using evade food, but I just want to do that just because. Then we hit you with the AoE dissolve. Under 10,000, pretty good. But you're dead. That's a level 2. Yep, 111,000 damage ungeared. He does still... <laughs> I was about to say, he does still out-CC me, but I don't really care. You have no DPS. Who's going to do damage, Ludo? Ah, uh, yeah. Who do you have in the back? Death Pierce. Yeah, he's not going to do another one. All right. On to the next one. Hmm. Oh. The usual king team. Uh. Pretty sure it's a player. That CC's relatively high. Uh, yeah, that's a player. What's this? I really hope he doesn't have evade food on. No. Okay, his king's dead. I could have gone for kill. But, nah, I just want king gone. Because then he could still get that annoying shield passive. Yeah, it's a player. There's a bit of lag. Can I get a bunch more Christmas later cards? She's my main DPS here. Or if I could get a bunch of... Normal Lilia cards? Uh, I'll, I'll merge these now, like naturally down the line. And go for his, uh... Geo. Hmm. Yeah, this will give me the most damage possible as well. Because these are all... Well, not... Yeah. <laughs> he knew it was up. Dude, you're, you're funny. You thought your Eskimo was going to do something. Alright. So, this team is actually kind of good. Unfortunately, the rule is going to be gone. I like next reset, so Sunday. Uh, so not that long from now. But yeah, 
pretty good game. I think I'll do one or two more, though. We might have our last opponent or our second to last opponent. I don't know yet, depending on how long this match goes for. Ooh. Man, I think he's using evade food. That is, it is annoying if it is. If he is. I mean, I'm gonna go for it still. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go for Kyo. Please have no evade food on. Yeah, he has one. Okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> he knew it was. Okay, I wasted that card. And I had, um. He must have thought that I merged a level 2 flood card. Because that would have been enough to take him out. Although it was opposite. I had a level 1 flood. And level 2 dissolve. AoE. I don't know if it would have been enough. I guess we'll never find out. But I'm for sure going to be doing one more. Minimum. Because that was way too quick. So I'll be back. Nice. Looks like we have our last opponent here. What are we going to do? What are you doing, I should say? Oh, okay. There we go first. Please give me a good draw. Oh, your king's dead. Without a doubt. <laughs> All right. Um, actually, which does more damage? Did the Ign uh, the Ignites land it on Gothner? So this does 170. This is 200. 170, 200. Nah, this one does a bit more damage, and then we'll do this. King's dead. No evade food, because he has 190 KCC. Make you a bit squishy with this, and then Lilia. Mommy, Lilia, would you do the job? Thank you, that's actually disgusting. 112,000. Type neutral, ungeared. <laughs> Dude, th these numbers on... I wish I could run this team on geared, but you can't, because it's only possible and ungeared currently with the roll. Maybe one day they bring it to geared. That'll be something, but for now, we take what we get. He's just gonna rank up twice, I'd assume? Yeah, no, no. Okay, so level 2 buff, and then I'm assuming a dissolve. Yeah. He has a level 3, though. Um, hold on. Do this. Do that. Might as well do that. See if we have enough damage to take out his Gother. That'll be something. I think so, though. Yeah, he's dead. How much damage from Lulia? 61,000 damage? <laughs> so he loses Gother passive. Uh, no more extra attacker stats for you. I'll go for... Oh, I was going to... Man, he cleansed. Uh, not, I don't really care, though. Level 3? Not much. I keep forgetting, at the very beginning of this match, I thought that Kyo would do more damage because of the extra... He did a... He's 170, but then he had... What is that? 20% increase for each debuff or ignite, so that would have been 210. But Lilia, she has more basic stats. Yeah, she has almost 16,000. <laughs> So let me just do this, do that, and I guess I'll merge this. That should be enough damage to take her out. Actually, I don't know. Nah, that was my fault. I completely forgot that she healed quite a bit. Hold on. Hmm. That actually might might have cost me the game. Because I assume if you're smart, you would ult my Kyo. And knowing my luck, you're probably 6-6. Six, six. Why are you going for Chris Priscilla? I mean, she actually yeah, is good, but... Kyo's the reason why my team is so... Oh! <laughs> Please tell me you didn't go for... Go for Kyo. Man. Of course he crit. That's fine. He's not 6-6. Six, six. Um... Okay. I'll just get double ult then. Do this. We do that. And then heal a bit. I think that's enough damage. Yeah. She looks so good. 42,000 damage, and then we heal. About like 20,000. It's pretty good. We're full HP. Oh, yeah. I don't care what you do now. You're not going to do anything to me. I'll ult you with Kyo to get Ignite. Man, I was going to try and see some ultimate with uh, Lilia. Because I'm actually 6-6 six, six with her. The Christmas one is 2-6, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it. We actually popped off. I'm surprised. That's really good damage.
So again, 50% increase from her Holy Relic. Basic stats, of course. And then on top of that, Festival's Eldritch Pass in the back. That's an additional 24%, so that is 74% increase. Turn 1 to both my Lilia's basic stats, so 74% increase to attack, defense, and HP. That's really good. And then on top of that, the Ignites, we do more damage because Ignites grant you 10% additional damage for each Ignite. So that's really good there. And the team is just solid. So, yeah, that's going to do it for me today. If you guys did enjoy, though, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.